Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Minecraft. Today what we're going to be working on is a witch farm so that we can get redstone powder, glowstone powder, and glass bottles without having to actually go and mine them. So, so yeah, and I'll kind of tell you a little bit about why I chose this farm as we're going, but uh, that's all, all I have to say for right now, so let's just get straight to work. Now, I kind of made it sound just now like there's like a super special reason I chose this. And I guess the only real reason I chose this farm was because when 1.9 comes out, the witch farm I was going to build for, for the server is going to break because it relies on a bug. Kind of similar to how the, the item elevator that I was using relies on a bug. Um, and they're fixing those bugs. So I was unaware that there was another witch farm, and this one was actually very recently built, uh, designed by a guy that I watched quite a bit. And I'll be sure to put his video down in the description, but uh, he designed this farm, and it works in 1.8 and 1.9. So, so yeah, I decided I'd go ahead and build this, and it's going to make life a lot easier because we'll be able to just come here and stand outside it for a while. And, uh, and it'll get us redstone powder without us having to go mining for it, which will be a lot safer than, than having to cave and a lot more direct and efficient. So yeah, I'm going to finish taking out the rest of this cabin. And I'll go ahead and do a jump cut, and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so I've cleared out the hut, and I also filled in the rest of the floors. So... Next, what we need to do is start putting in the mechanism that will be, I guess, getting rid of the witches would be the the, the easiest way to put it. Basically, the thing that, that will be pushing the witches away. So, let's see. How does this go? It goes something like... And actually, I'm going to sleep before I do this because I don't want to have to try to do this in the dark. <laughs> okay. So, it goes like that, and then we put two more blocks. And then we need two hoppers facing into each other. And then we put a something in there. It doesn't really matter what, I guess. Let's just put a redstone block in there for now. And then we need a sticky piston. And that will face, let's see, it'll face this way. And we'll put a redstone block here. And then, let's see, how do I do the rest of this? I believe we then put okay i see how it's done <laughs> i actually took a picture of my uh my creative world so i could actually see what i was doing in case i needed to look at it later and it looks like that was a good idea so we put that there and we put the the tripwire hook here and this is all going to run on tripwire hooks so once we put everything in, you'll you'll kind of understand how it works. But uh, but yeah, so we just tile this up. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of the layers here. So we put. I'm gonna get rid of this. 
some of this is going to be kind of hard to place. And I, of course, I didn't keep the dirt on me either. All right, so we will put a piece of dirt here so that I can then do this. Put a block there, put a comparator here, then a block there and there. A hopper, hopper. And then replace this hopper. Not there. This one could be kind of hard to place, actually. There we go. And then we need to put another item in there. I guess we'll put another redstone block. And we'll place this here. We'll put that there, and then another tripwire hook. And then we do this all one more time. Put another piston there, get rid of this block. Put this here. And I don't know if you guys can actually tell, but I'm actually using a different mic than I have been um, trying to get a little bit better sound quality but I'm not used to talking into a mic like this so I keep leaning back so if the sound gets quiet and then louder again you'll just have to kind of bear with me but uh, but yeah hopefully that should improve the sound quality at least the quality of my voice and uh, What did I forget? Um, put an item in there. But yeah, so this should improve the quality of the uh, the vocal track here. Make it a little crisper for you guys. But uh, but yeah, I keep leaning back because I'm not I'm not used to having something like this. So bear with me as I kind of get used to it. And also, I seem to be developing a little bit of a cough or something. So if I suddenly go quiet, and you can probably hear my voice right now, but if I suddenly go quiet, I'm probably just drinking water or something. So again, bear with me, and uh, if this works out well, then you know maybe the rest of my <laughs> videos will be a little bit better, at least for listening. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> So now that we have these all tiled, I think I'm going to do the rest off camera, but you can kind of see how this is built. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut here, and uh, there's actually going to be a lot of cuts in this episode. But, uh, but yeah, it'll be worth it. So I will see you in just a minute. All right, guys, we are back, and we have all of this circuitry done. We actually need to take this out. So now what we need to do is we need to make some walls. And I think the first wall we're going to do, I'm going to need a lot more glass than that. The first wall we're going to do, I think, will be... We'll make a pillar straight up right here. So to do that... We'll place glass there, and this glass will be important, and you'll, I think you'll understand why I need this in just a minute here. So we need that there, and see, do I have, yes. Then we will put this Let's see. Don't need my sword, so we'll throw this down. Put that there. And I cannot get up there from here. 
Okay, so... And I'll show you what this is for. Basically, it's going to work something like this. Okay, and that is the mechanism that's going to push them over. So the next wall we'll make is over on this side. And then we're going to tie these trip wires all up. And basically what that does is when a witch spawns, they'll they'll hit the trip wire, which will drop the piston, which will push them over the edge and they'll fall and die. <laughs> Just the way we want them to. So a little morbid, I guess, but... I mean, it's just a computer, and uh, if they didn't, if I didn't kill them, they would definitely be trying to kill me. So, I mean, better that they be good for something rather than just, you know, trying to kill you. And I need two buckets of water to do this. Not from there, though. There we go. And for those of you who don't know, uh, to make an infinite water source, all you need is two water buckets and then three blocks. So you basically just take, you put one bucket here, and I'll show you how I did it again. But and I don't even need to right there, but you put a water source here and a water source here, and it'll fill in this middle one for you. So you don't even need to to constantly be be getting more water somewhere. You can just make yourself a really small infinite water source. So that's a pretty nice mechanic. But next what we need to do is we need to make a wall that will line tripwire hooks up here with ones on this side so what we're going to do so we'll put a piece of dirt there we're gonna do a layer of glass actually that's in the wrong spot ah, I've got more I hope I have enough at least we are going to put glass here and then you put a block here like this then you put trip wire hooks and those are in line there so then we'll come back later and fill this all in with string and then all we need to do then is dig a pit and hook up the hoppers to a chest and it'll be all good to go. Well, and then we need to make a, a platform up in the sky for for us to stand on when we want to use this thing. But other than that, the only other thing we'd need is a roof so that there's no light in here so that they'll spawn during the day and at night. So I'm going to go ahead and do this whole wall and I will check back in when that is done. Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished off the walls here and I dug the hole where the witches will be dropping so that we can harvest the, the drops from them. So now the only thing left is the... that's where the hole is. <laughs> the only thing left is putting on the roof and I thought, depending on how much time we have left and I don't have my timer within reach so I don't exactly know how much time but Right here there will either be a time lapse of me finishing the roof or it will just be a cut to the finish of the of the roof and uh, and that's all you'll see. So, so I guess I'll either see you in a couple seconds or in a couple minutes. So yeah, see you in a bit. Alright guys, so I got the roof put in and I actually decided to do a cut because it was being more of a pain than I expected and by the time I finally figured out 
how to best put it in. Uh, there, uh, it was. It had already been a while, and I just figured it would be it'd be best for time and for the interest of 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 you guys for me to just do a jump cut here. But uh, but yeah, um, I went in and I actually just put myself in creative, so I'll go ahead and fly around here and uh, kind of give you guys a look at what it is. I'll have to go in. Uh, outside of this video and clear away a lot of this land to help increase spawn rates but uh, but yeah let's uh, go into actually spectator mode and I'll show you guys around a little bit so here it is and I think I'll be taking this dirt out and I think the reason it's not spawning witches right now I hope this is the reason is because we're in spectator mode and the game doesn't see that as a player entity being nearby so I'll have to take this out because this is a light source and the reason the roof has to be so big is because it cuts off um, all of the light all of the spawning light for this area so that should make it so that uh, mobs can spawn inside here and, uh, and yeah but that's pretty much all you need to know. I mean, there's there's really not that much to it. Here's the killing chamber, and it drops all the way down to I think level 32, and we'll say and a half. And there's a chest right here, and later on I'm gonna come in and put an item elevator that'll come all the way up to the top here, and that actually means I'll probably have to go the other direction with this, but I'll take care of that again outside the video. Um, because I'm going to have to put in the uh, the AFK platform, the, the the platform that you stand on so that things will actually spawn. So, uh, so yeah, this is the, this is the, the witch farm. So hopefully we get some output, and hopefully I built it right, and uh, we'll be seeing some, some redstone and glowstone. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.